Rebecca Corbin, President and CEO of the National Association for Community College Entrepreneurship, NACI. Our mission is to promote entrepreneurship across the country on community college campuses. We're working with community colleges like Big Sandy in Kentucky to promote economic vitality. Pikeville is a mountainous area in eastern Kentucky, steeped in history and tourism. The Hatfield-McCoy feud took place nearly exclusively here in Pike County and in eastern Kentucky, and it changed this region for nearly a century. Our city is located in a floodplain and had flooded constantly, about every 20 years. So for this community to develop and flourish, we had to get the river out of the city. The entrepreneurial solution in the 1970s was the cut-through an engineering wonder that diverted the river, took the railroad and the highway out of the city and allowed for industry and tourism to flourish. Today, however, Pikeville and the surrounding communities are experiencing an economic crisis that is severely impacting the quality of life in this region. The downturn in the coal industry has sucked the life out of this region like a vacuum. It sucked hope, it sucked promise, it sucked possibility out of here. Currently the economy is in pretty dire straits. Many jobs are being lost and as those jobs are being lost there's just nowhere for those families to replace that income. Those men, mostly men that work in the mines, were earning close to $100,000 or more and now we've had 10,000 of those jobs lost. As the cut through solved the problem of flooding in the 1970s, Many believe that an emphasis on entrepreneurial thinking and broadband technology will help to solve today's economic problems. As I see in what we're talking about, the special needs would lie between the youth and the retired. Rusty Justice is the co-owner of BitSource, a web solution development company. He spent his career in the coal industry and knew that the unemployed coal miners he worked with in the mines could apply their skills elsewhere. All the men and women we'd worked with over our careers were really high-tech workers. It just kind of got dirty in their jobs, but they had uh, the skills necessary to transition into a new line of work. Big Sandy Community and Technical College is building Kentucky's first broadband technology center. President Stevenson thinks it will be the key to creating new career paths for laid-off workers. We're building a $5 million advanced technology center, the only one of its kind, with fiber to desk, in Pikeville, Kentucky, home of the Hatfields and the McCoys. So we're becoming a, a place that does fast track training for high speed jobs. President Stevenson is gathering key partners like Charles Sexton of One East Kentucky to help diversify the economy, providing office space and collaboration. This whole speaking about broadband, the biggest thing that we can do with the broadband in addition to providing a utility that's necessary is we're opening up the ability for folks to have that entrepreneurial innovation. A desire to stay in eastern Kentucky led laid-off coal miner Charles Scarberry to Big Sandy Community and Technical College. I took the commercial truck driving program and after completion of that I found out that that was going to take me away from home. You know I would be gone for at least a week, two weeks at a time and decided that that's not the career path that I wanted to go in. So I looked to further my education and found the fiber optic program. These classes are really good because they uh, teach them how to be like, you can work for the power company, telephone company, different manufacturing jobs, railroad. It's not just tied down to one particular you know, job or career path. We can be a technology economy here in the mountains that, we, that our, our displaced workers aren't just you know, quote unquote blue collar workers, that they are, they can work in that tech industry. Prestonburg's former mountaintop strip mine is now a popular golf course. We're trying to develop a, a, an area of destination, not just a, an area to come through. A Dawkins Rails to Trails project with tunnels is designed to give new life to former rail lines that transported lumber and coal. It will require shuttle services, um, bike repair shops, more eating establishments and shopping establishments to accommodate all of the tourists that are expected 
to visit the region as a result. Big Sandy Community and Technical College offers students a variety of entrepreneurial opportunities and career paths. Some folks that we have at our college that are entrepreneurs already, and, and maybe just they never thought to call themselves an entrepreneur, so to speak. We have a cosmetology department who graduates entrepreneurs every year. They are self-employed women who, who have great jobs and great careers. Allison Nicole Napier waited until her kids were grown to pursue her dream of owning a hair salon. Since I've been a little girl, I always wanted to do hair, open my own business up. This has been probably one of the best things that has ever happened to me. So I'm just trying to work at it, trying to make the best of it. It's just been, it's been awesome. Big Sandy Community and Technical College gave Maria Wilson a chance to go from making minimum wage to an occupation where she could support herself and her child. I went from working at the grocery store to being a nurse because I wanted to help people. I was sick as a child. My grandmother was really sick. She was in and out of the hospital. I got to watch the nurses kind of come and go out of her room, out of my room, and I wanted to be that positive person. I wanted to be that person that actually got to help people and make a difference in their life. This region is filled with a lot of creative, innovative people. Some might look at Eastern Kentucky as being a place of hillbillies, but we're proud of that. We're proud of our work ethic. We're proud of our honesty. We're proud of our strong family values. And for me, that makes a wonderful, wonderful employee. It makes wonderful people trainable to do great things in this region. The end game for the college, from my perspective, is producing a very effective student that can not only leave this college with an education, a career, they can also go out and create a job for themselves. So if our institution can be a catalyst, if, it, if we can be a stimulus, if we can be a a motivator into the big picture of transforming this region, then we feel like that we have accomplished our mission. This video was made possible through support from the Appalachian Regional Commission. For more information about NACI, visit us online at NACCE.com.